In this video we're going to be taking our first look at the Saucony Ride 16. I'm going to tell you the things I like about the shoe and the things I don't like about the shoe. Saucony HQ, yes, we've got another shoe from Saucony on the channel. No, they're not sponsoring this video. So guys, right, so here it is, the Ride 16. And actually, let's do the disclaimer. So this shoe was sent to me by the guys at Saucony, uh, but I'm not getting paid for it. I don't have a script. Uh, I don't have to say nice things. Uh, I'm not a journalist, uh, that sort of stuff. So basically, all my views are my own. I'm going to say exactly what I want, as I usually do. And that's probably about that. Okay, so here it is, the Ride 16, and I didn't have version 15, even though you guys loved it, because I had Guide 15. Guide is the stability shoe, uh, this is the Guide 16, I'll come on to that in just a sec. Um, but I didn't have uh, the 15th version of the Ride, so I was, that's why I was really pleased when the guys at Saucony were kind enough to send it through to me. Uh, now, before we get into the things that I like and don't like, let's quickly do the stats and features and tell you the differences between this and the Guide. Um, so let's get stuck in. Okay, so the Ride 16 is £130 here in the UK. We've got a brand new mesh upper on the shoe. It's 9.35 ounces. That's 265 grams in my UK 9.5. It fits true to size. Uh, it's got a uh, power run midsole that, that stays the same versus 15, which is lighter, softer, and has been basically maintained. It's exactly, I think, the same shoe. We've got the XT900 uh, rubber outsole. Uh, what else do you need to know? Weight, oh, uh, 9.35 ounces, 265 grams fits true to size and yeah the big thing here the big talking point i think is the upper so the shoe's got this new mesh upper on it uh, which feels of a high quality i would say uh, it's definitely got some more wrapping around the shoe with like these overlays and you can see that so it feels like it's got a little bit more structure to it but overall i think that the overall quality um, is where it's been improved. Now that might seem a bit harsh but the previous version of the guide and the ride had like this um is it coarse material that feeling but this definitely feels more expensive more comfortable and just overall the the fit and feel of it like and even the detailing with this like bit of suede on it it just feels a little bit more yeah just more expensive and and better feeling so from here down it's exactly the same as the previous versions it's a nice wide footprint um so you don't have any stability issues the power is definitely softer than it used to be in this shoe uh, which is good news the 13, 14 was definitely a lot firmer than this. And just the overall feeling of the shoe, it just feels a little bit more responsive. And lighter, say 9.35 ounces. That's a cracking weight for a daily trainer. So in terms of differences between the Ride and the Guide, the Guide is a stability shoe, people. So I know there's stuff out there saying it's not, but it is. Uh, if you look here, you've got the Hollow Frame Tech, uh, yeah, Hollow Frame Tech, I think it's called, which is like a posting-ish. It's like a plastic thing that runs along on the medial side, which is there to aid stability. Uh, you've got some other details, uh, like, for example, that belt buckle um, is bigger, so that creates more of a foot lockdown than you get in the ride see the differences i don't know if it's going to come out on the camera but can you see the differences between the two uh, here and here so that's definitely bigger and more noticeable and that's there to create that lockdown around the shoe as well uh in terms of the widths uh they're about the same but the the big thing the big difference between them is the sort of this hollow tech i think it's hollow frame uh technology that's within the guide to add that stability so this is here for guidance and stability then you've got your neutral running shoe in the ride that makes sense hopefully it does right so let's get back to the ride 16 and let you know the things i like about the shoe so i like the simplicity of the shoe i like the 130 pounds price tag i really like the upper update and i like the upper update on the guide as well i just think it's improved the overall quality i've spoken about that earlier i just think it is improved the overall feel of the shoe it just feels a much yeah higher quality not premium because I don't know it's, it, that's a, a strong word but it, ju it just feels like you're getting a little bit more for your money it's not just like a cheap daily trainer it does feel I say with the bits of suede and stuff it really does feel like a really nice shoe I like the fit I like the weight uh, I like the comfort of the shoe 
Uh, I like the Power Run uh, midsole. It's not overly firm. It's not overly soft. It feels all right. I like the width of the shoe. So there's a stable enough platform here. Although, you know, if you need to go stable more than that, you've got the guide. But overall, the, uh, the feel of the shoe just feels great and it's effortless to get your daily miles in. Okay, so in terms of dislikes, I don't like the XT900 again. It's very similar to the other Saucony shoes and it's not great in those sort of slippery conditions. I really do feel Saucony need to do some work on their outsole. Um, I'm sure the XT900 is, is very good and we know it's durable, but it, it, just the overall um, sort of grip on the outsole is lacking when you compare it to something like Puma Grip or even the stuff on like the Nike Pegasus shoes. That is where Saucony do need to up their game is with their outsoles. But that's it really for dislikes. Um, I think this is a really good daily trainer, I really do. Uh, in terms of comfort, it's up there with the best. I think it's you know, as comfortable as something like the Ride 11 from, uh, from Skechers. Uh, I like the fact, as I said, the fit of it and just the overall premium feel to it. It just feels like a really good daily trainer. It's not gonna blow the doors off. It's not gonna set any new records, but if you just want a really <sighs> a sensible daily trainer that's gonna do everything, this is your boy. So there we go. Um, I think we got there in the end. There's the first impressions. We've done 20, between 20 and 25 miles in the shoe so far. So I will do my usual. I'll come back, report back. Let me know how we're getting on with it. Um, but yeah, we'll probably put it up against some of the other daily trainers out there as well. Do some versus videos as well, which I think is cool. But yeah, so, so far, first impressions of the Ride 16. I really like it. I think as, as daily trainers go, I can see why you guys like the 15 so much. Because this really is just a very, very good daily trainer.